more efforts to stop congestion pricing as the city paves the way for it. License plate scanners are installed on 60th Street, but lawsuits filed in both New York State and New Jersey could prevent them from being used. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has the story tonight from Bergen County. That's ridiculous. That's what many New Jersey commuters are calling New York City's plan to slap drivers who enter Manhattan south of 60th Street with an extra $15 during peak hours. You're giving tickets for everything. You're still not making any money and you're charging all of this money for people who work hard for theirs. Bergen County with 70 municipalities and more than a million residents has filed papers to join New Jersey and Fort Lee's lawsuits to stop New York from implementing congestion pricing. They're trying to fix mismanagement for years and years and years on the backs of others and that's not fair. Bergen County Executive Jim Tedesco's legal team argues drivers will try and avoid both tunnels jam the George Washington Bridge and that'll increase traffic in a number of Bergen County towns. So what will happen is the traffic will back up more and more. The environment will suffer because of the, the emissions from all the cars and the trucks. David DeHarney agrees that drivers will try and avoid tolls. His company specializes in traffic trends using artificial intelligence. They'll go through neighborhoods that never were built for those kinds of traffic flows. It's going to create a public safety issue. Governor Phil Murphy's administration's requesting the state suit be updated, adding congestion pricing also discriminates against drivers in the Garden State. I think that there is a very strong possibility that this lawsuit will happen in New Jersey and potentially even be heard all the way up to the Supreme Court. The reason being is there's an argument that the Constitution is being violated, specifically the Commerce Clause. So people have a right to sue, but we have gone through thousands and thousands of hours and pages of environmental rule. We've worked with the federal government, made all the thousands of adjustments. We have done everything possible to bring this to reality. Bergen County is expected to find out by February 5th whether this brief will be accepted by the court. Along the New Jersey Turnpike in Bergen County, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.